There are tons of new and exciting gadgets at CES 2016, but the real name of the game today is virtual reality. One of the biggest names in virtual reality, Oculus, is launching its consumer product, the Oculus Rift. It'll launch in March and costs 600 bucks, a little pricey for a VR headset, but it's one of the best experiences I've had with virtual reality so far. Virtual reality's been mostly for gaming, but companies at CES are trying new and innovative ways to use your virtual reality headset to attend live concerts, remodel your kitchen or living room, or even buy a whole new house. VRDify is changing the way you experience music with virtual reality. Can't get tickets to your favorite band's concert? VRDify's immersive 360 experience will let you feel like you're there. VRDify is a free app, but you'll be paying a premium for attending those live concerts and special events. When it comes to home decor, Lowe's Hollow Room will let you redesign any room in your house in a virtual reality environment without spending a dime. Is there like a one-click buy everything button? Oh, nice. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, Vitrio is using virtual reality to help consumers and realtors. Instead of using expensive 360 degree cameras, you can use this to take panoramic views of your home with your smartphone. The Vitrio will launch this summer and cost between $100 to $150. If you don't want to pay that, the app is free for consumers, with realtors paying a tiered pricing rate from $30 to $50 a month. At Consumer Reports, we've been checking out virtual reality headsets and will continue to do so as more hit the market. And we'll continue to follow the ways virtual reality is helping consumers, whether it's through entertainment, health applications like physical therapy, or saving you time and money. For our full coverage of CES, join us on social media and YouTube, as well as ConsumerReports.org.